Brianna, welcome uh, to New York Liberty. Welcome to the S Network. Uh, it's going to be a pleasure to call your games this season. First off, for me, just what did you feel when you saw those fans in that video that we just saw? When I when I saw those fans in that video, I just you know it makes me even more excited. Obviously, I'm a bit it's feeling a bit surreal right now. Um, hard to imagine, but seeing the fans, seeing the the community really kind of get behind us and get excited and and help help us bring this Liberty team to a championship level is is what I'm really most excited about. How important do you think it is? You mentioned that being here in the New York market was not only big for you guys, but big for the league in general. How important is it to, to get such an awesome team, a super team really, in the New York market? Um, I think it's huge. I think it's huge to be in this this market. Obviously, one of the biggest markets in the world, um, and to to be able, to be able to excuse me uplift a women's basketball team, a professional women's basketball team, where you know we do only receive four percent of of media. Um, you know, we're trying to change that, and we're trying to to continue to uh, raise the standard on and off the court. And and playing off that, Brianna, I think something. Um you said during the press conference when a reporter asked about setting a precedent taking less money. I, I think the selflessness speaks more taking less money to help not only build this team in this city, but the league as well. Yeah, I think it's a fine line you have to walk. Obviously, you know, as a woman, as a, a player of the WNBA, I want to continue to be valued in all aspects of what we do here. But also, I want to be able to play with great players. And, you know, making that happen and, and Sloot said it, it's like we didn't want to come in here and just blow it all up. We wanted to play with the players that were here. Um, and we did whatever we could to make that happen. Brianna, we all know it's not easy to play with a lot of talented players. Some things, sometimes it doesn't work out. What other things besides coming in with a selfless mentality do you think this team will need in, in order to be successful? Um, I think this team will just need the, the mindset and to be ready to work. I think that, you know, this is our job and we need to really embrace that and embrace the, the city that we're in, the culture that we have and the opportunity that we have to really push things forward and, and show everyone great basketball and bring it back here. But that starts with us and that starts with what we're doing individually and as a team. We, we heard about playing with John Quell, playing with Sloot. What about Sabrina Ionescu? What excites you the most about playing with her here? Oh, I'm really excited to play with Sabrina. Obviously, played against her a lot in the WNBA. Played with her with USA Basketball, and she's someone that she's a, a fierce competitor. You know, she works hard. She wants to win. She has all the pieces to make it happen. And now, you know, we just bring a little bit more experience to her to, to help. You know, to help make this thing uh, become whole. But uh, she's someone that. You know, one of the one of the one of the great great players in the WNBA, and um, happy to be on her side. Well, you got to tell us about your great reveal. Where, where did you get the inspiration <laughs> for that? Um, well, I made Marta do it, my wife. I was like, you know, I've seen this like TikTok, and they just do this, and I was like, I want to do that. Can you figure out how? And she's like, uh, yes. <laughs> Um, so we were in my hotel room in Prague, and we did it, and it, it looks great. It came out great. We it, loved it, it. It did look great, and, and now you're back home. Yeah. Of course, you're from Syracuse, yeah. uh, went to UConn, yeah. and, and as we heard people say up here, Sandy Brondello, your head coach, said, hey, if you saw her play at UConn, and if you want to see her play now, you could come see her at Barclays Center. She's in your backyard. What does it mean for you to be back here and be back home? Uh, it means a lot for me to be back here and back home, and yeah, Syracuse is a, a little bit of a drive yeah. away, but um, I feel I have roots here. I feel I have roots in, in New York City, on the East Coast, with Connecticut close, with Syracuse, and um, you know, hoping that we're going to have a lot of people from New York City come to games, and a lot of people outside of the city come to games, and um, just put on a show every single night. I hope that, you know... We'll have some buses from Syracuse bringing people down. Things like that. It should be happening that way, and I want to make it special for that for everybody. So, yeah, I know you just got to New York, but you're dealing with real-life things, too. you got a daughter. I hear you're looking at child care situations. What's the adjustment been like just being here? Um, well, we're, we're kind of just adjusting on the fly. We haven't been here long. Ruby's not even here. She's still in Spain uh, because we have such a, a quick trip. But we want to make sure that while we're here, um, it's going to 
going to be a, a new chapter in life for all of us, you know, for Marta, for myself, for Ruby, and we want to make sure that we're all settled and feeling great about what we're doing and, and where we're going. Stewie, you're Thanks. all in. We're all in as well. We're so delighted that you're here in New York. Thank you so much for the time. We appreciate it, and best of luck to you this evening. Thank yeah, you. See you guys too. soon. All right.